the splenic center. The splenic center, or the spleen, is located here on the left-hand side of the body graph. And if it's defined, it means you have a defined sense of well-being and you carry intuition. Now, um, intuition can be an authority, so I want to make something clear in the beginning here, is that if you have the spleen and the sacral, or the spleen, the sacral, and the emotions, you know, this goes that way in terms of which is the authority. <laughs> you know, it, the spleen can feed the sacral center or it can be its own individual authority. So when you're looking at the splenic center and you're talking about authorities, make sure that uh, you understand that just because you have intuition does not mean you're here to act out of it. You know, that means that you have intuition. That's it. It does not override the fact that your aura is, works a certain way and you have maybe a different authority. You know, it can be an authority, but uh, many people can have the defined spleen and so they can have this great sense of intuition and so they have this intuition they, and they start acting on it. And that's going to be really, really dangerous. I, I know from personal experience about this one. Um, so you have the defined um, spleen. The defined spleen can bring a uh, sense of well-being. Uh, it is a defined, actually, fear, and it's a survival fear. It's an instinctual fear to survive. That's what the defined spleen is. And it sounds funny to say that, you know, the, uh, fear brings a, a certain feeling of health, but it does. It's like, I know what to be afraid of. I know when I should be afraid, you know. That's, uh, that's something that the undefined uh, spleen doesn't necessarily have, you know. So, um, if you have the defined spleen, um, again, you are intuitive in nature. And um, you bring, you carry the sense of well-being that can be, um, well, it can be kind of attractive to, to the other. You know, somebody with an undefined spleen could desperately want to be around somebody with the defined spleen because this is kind of almost like a washing machine. E even though it is an instinctual fear, it's almost like it, uh, it has a way of dealing with the fear. Where the open spleen doesn't necessarily have uh, a way of dealing with this, uh, the fear. Um, the defined spleen also um, can be very um, tricky to have in your design. Um, I've seen a lot of people make a lot of mistakes with this thing. Um, either because uh, they end up attracting someone into their life, and now I'm talking about the dark side of what it could be to have the defined spleen. You know, they attract someone into their life, that person happens to be needy, what they really need is the sense of well-being. They end up being very abusive to the person, they don't treat them so nicely, yet the person keeps coming back. Because they, you know, they're not aware, they don't have their own inner authority, they're not in human design, they're not ready to stand as their own authority and understand their aura. And so the spleen can be almost like this little worm that keeps dragging someone back, dragging them back. So if you have the defined spleen, you know, um, use that, uh, you know, uh, take responsibility, I guess is what I'm saying, is, you know, be correct as yourself, you know, and then if someone shows up and they have the undefined spleen, it's totally okay. It's just, you don't want to, I've seen people use this, you know, just like I've seen people pressure other people with their emotions or pressure them with their energy or, or pressure them with the will. I've seen the spleen be used in a lot of situations that didn't look so healthy to me. And, uh, you know, this is all about us having our own authority and getting our own sense of peace and well-being in our life. You know? And if you're someone like me who has splenic authority, it's actually your authority, then it's this thing that's really here to be developed. You know, it's an amazing thing to have defined intuition and, you know, know all sorts of things that are going to happen. I mean, I see cars going right off the, you know, right off of the cliff and uh, I just stand there. I'm a projector. You know, I'm not here to do anything with my intuition. It's just uh, another area to watch, you know? I'm only giving you guys these mechanics so that you can watch how your design works. But again, you gotta go back to your aura. You know, how does your aura work? Where's your inner authority? And do I have this spleen? Yeah, okay, so I have some intuition. Doesn't mean I'm here to do anything with it. It means I'm just here to be intuitive, you know? And um, when it's right and the aura mechanic is there and the, the rest of your life is operating properly, it'll be a real gift to you and it can bring a can bring a defined sense of well-being. I would agree with that. Uh, you know, I've, I've heard other people say that. That yeah, I see how it can be healthy. You know, but I'm healthy because I'm afraid. You know, as a defined splenic person, it's like I'm afraid. You know, I only surf certain size waves. I don't surf them when they get bigger than that. You know, I mean, I'm I'm smart enough to be dumb. You know, it's it's a it's a it's a real thing to to live as, with fear as your motivation or as your ally. You know, I I have fear as my awareness.
I love it. Um, it also means I'm able to face fear uh, a lot uh, easily. You know, I jump out of airplanes and you know, martial arts, all sorts of things that I've been involved in in my life. That uh, it was okay. The fear was there. I understood what the the what to be afraid of, and I could face it. You know, and uh, I had the intuition to save my life when I needed to. You know, real quick thinking, uh, thinking that's way faster than mind. It was one of the things I saw deeply. Because um, I used to be a competitive skydiver, again, competitive, open ego, trying to prove myself. Um, not doing that trip anymore. But uh, I, my parachute would be malfunctioning, and there'd be you know a hundred lines going up to it. I would know which one to pull to keep it from malfunctioning. I guarantee that wasn't my mind that figured that out. You know, my mind was <laughs> my mind was in awe of the, how did that happen? You know, one of those type of situations. So that's uh, you know the type of things that in an emergency you'll just all of a sudden switch into this awareness of survival. Um, if you've got the open spleen. Um, you can be really, really uh, needy and latch on to lots of things that are not good for you. Um, you can, specifically one of these, you know, you can be in relationships with people with defined spleens. You can let defined spleens into your life because they make you feel better. Again, you need to have your own authority. You know, the wisdom here is that you can really have a sense of um, well-being about life, uh, who's healthy and who's not. I mean, there's a wisdom that comes from it, but having it open at first can be... Um, well, it's just something you really need to watch because you can always be looking for security outside of yourself. You can always be looking for something or someone to feel better because um, naturally you may not feel good a lot of the times. It's okay. You know, you're, you've got an open spleen. You're taking in and amplifying all the fears and insecurities on the planet. Anybody you walk by that's got any fear, you, you know, you take that in, you amplify it. It shows up in your head as a voice. That voice says you should do something about it. That makes you go out and act. I mean, guys, this is why I keep stressing the mechanics of all this. It's like, look, you can watch this stuff. Don't get lost in any of this stuff. Don't even get lost in all this information. There's only two things you need to know and only one thing in the end. How does your aura work? And when you understand that, and then you understand where to make decisions from, these become windows. You know, it can be fun to look out these windows. But at first, these are caked over with mud. They've been running your mind and speaking your, their whole life about what you should do, who you should be with. You know, go get that drink to feel better. Have a glass of wine every day because, you know, you, you don't feel good. And, and it can just be a, you know, really unhealthy thing for you guys. So just be careful. You know, because you are taking in the fears and insecurities, they are amplifying in your body, and they are showing up as uh, discomfort in your mind. Learn just to disidentify from all that. It's not, not for you to deal with. It's not. You know, if you see fears and insecurities, you're like, okay, well, great. You know, I always imagine, like, what, how, how must it be to be an open spleen person to be sitting on a plane at takeoff? You know? How many people are afraid to fly and to be on that plane? Just like, I mean, that must be an incredible sensation, you know, to take in all that fear and insecurity and as you start to taxi out to the runway. You know, I mean, it's just one of those things that pops up for me. You know, I'm scared and I have the defined spleen. I'm afraid and I jumped out of airplanes. I mean, I'm not stupid. It's something that's scary, you know, but that uh, don't make that, uh, you know, you don't need to order a drink because of that. You know, you don't need to try to take something or hang on to something in order to feel better. And it can be a real trap for you guys. So just be wise. You can be very wise about the well-being of the other. You know, a lot of great healers have the open spleen. You know, they can, uh, they can be sensitive on that, on that level of, you know, what is healthy and what is unhealthy. Um, when they're wise, again, I'm, I'm assuming wisdom now of the open spleen. The wisdom is, um, and the other thing is, you know, with the open spleen, you can have intuition for the other. You know, so if somebody comes to you and you happen to be a healer or just a friend of some time, somebody's asking you some questions, you can have intuition for them, you know. You can have, uh, you can just feel, oh, that, you know, this is, that, mm, that's, I get intuition that it's different for you, you know, if you're asked, you know, for everyone except the manifest, only if you're asked. And, um, yeah, it's, a, it's one of the most, it's one of the most controlling centers I've seen, the open spleen. I mean, I've really seen a lot of people hang on to so many things that are absolutely horrible for them and fight not to let go. Literally fight you and explain to you why this is still healthy for me and I need to be doing this. And you, I'm just going, really? <laughs> do you believe what you're saying? Do you, do you hear what you're saying? You know, so 
Again, all of these open centers will have a certain tanniness to them and they, they don't sound real. So um, one of the places you can learn to be very observant is just in, you know, listen to your own voice as you're speaking. It's going to be a real keynote for everyone, no matter what center we're talking about. The openness, it sounds fake. It sounds just like it looks hollow. 